Hi everyone, uh, my name is Sam Cox uh, and I work for the uh, University of Leicester. Thanks to Ranieri for allowing me to put this slide in at the 11th hour. Um, <coughs> so we can't really see you very much, but... Uh, so <laughs> we ran a, uh, a survey of our users at Leicester because we wanted to put something in centrally uh, around version control and continuous integration um, because we already have a subversion um, system that nobody massively uses it and we feel like we should probably upgrade. So we thought we'd actually ask the users for once what they wanted and so I'm just going to share the results with that if that's of interest to anybody. Uh, so Leicester is a medium to small size university uh, I would guess. Um, so what did we ask? So we asked uh, uh, what operating system do you code for? This is Linux, Windows and Mac. Um, so there were a surprising number of people uh, that were um, coding for Windows which comes in useful when you think about continuous integration. Uh, we asked them uh, <coughs> what version control do you use? So this is Git, which is the most popular. This is Subversion, which we have a, uh, a, a, a service for anyway. Um, but also very popular is not using version control at all. Uh, so that's something we'd like to change. Um, <coughs> down here, uh, uh, so this is um, what hosting solutions uh, do people use. So GitHub and Bitbucket are uh, very useful. But again, not using is uh, the second most popular option, uh, which we'd like to change. And what really um, struck us was when we asked about continuous integration, uh, we have three people using Travis, uh, one on Jenkins, two using AppLayer, um, and then everybody else not using it or asking what is a continuous integration, um, <coughs> which uh, we quite enjoyed. Um, and what's quite sad about this is that I'm included in that uh, sample of people using Travis. Uh, so that's just a little kind of demo of what is happening in our university. I'd be interested if other people are doing other things. We are hoping to put together um, a combination of GitHub uh, to catch sort of 80% of people versus the other 20 we can stand up something on GitLab is probably the way we're going to go. Uh, but in retrospect, what we should have also asked was, rather than do you use continuous integration, we should also ask, do you do any testing of any sort at all? Because um, I think it would probably have looked something like that as well. Uh, thank you very much.